Hi everyone, a quick background to this video. So Saurabh is one of my LinkedIn connection who is going to apply for a research based program in machine learning. And he was looking for someone who could do a review of his resume for this particular position. So I, when I looked at it, I asked Saurabh that I'll be happy to do the review, but I would want to share this with the community and he kindly agreed for that. So here is the feedback on the resume which Saurabh has shared and as I mentioned he has kindly agreed to share this with the community. So Saurabh since this is a research based position there are three critical aspects which the selector would be interested in. The first one is your academic achievements. because academic achievements typically have a very good correlation with uh, the research achievements of people. Any past experience or research work you might have done. And finally, any machine learning or data science experience which you might have. So those are the three things which your resume should ideally speak about. So let me go through the resume and share what I feel about it. So first of all, you don't need to spend so much space giving contact information. This can come in a single line. Same thing for your technical skills. You don't need to spend so much space. Just put them in a single line or two. What I would want to see more is in the education space. So here I would want you to mention your past projects, especially the final year project which you might have done, any seminars you have conducted, any publications you might have, all of that should come over here because this is a research based position. Similarly, uh, right now your work experience between 2016 and 2017 is missing. So if there is any work which you have done during this period which can be of relevance which addresses the three points which I mentioned over before you should include that in your resume. Assuming that is not the case in that case I would want you to expand this section. So if you have done more projects apart from Quora question pair similarity even if they are coming from uh, open source you should include them. So include more projects any repository which you have contributed to or any other work which you have done as part of your work experience should go in so make it richer on those aspects bring out your ml and ds experience add the projects and seminar and publications or any academic achievements you might have and that's the bare minimum this resume should have if you're applying for a research-based ML role. Thank you.